Electrophysiology offers a huge amount of insight to medical research and treatments for a variety of neurophysiological disorders. I visited Dr. McGill to find out about his pioneering work on Parkinson's disease and his recent publication in Neuron. How would you describe the relevance of your research to the general public? Well, I think we mustn't forget, in terms of relevance of our research, that we're primarily funded by the Medical Research Council. So, of course, our work is funded by the UK taxpayer. So it is relevant to you and to me as taxpayers that that money is spent wisely and we try and identify and answer the most important questions that will advance the health and wealth of this nation. I mean, in terms of the specific area of neuroscience uh, that I'm involved in, we're really trying to understand the, the basic building blocks, how nerve cells function in the brain to underlie movement. And so we often think that the brain is a terrific thinking machine and we have all these wonderful senses and self-awareness and everything else. But I am very much in favor of the idea that the reason we have a brain is to move. And so that's why I've chosen to study the circuits that underlie voluntary movement. We do that in a couple of ways. If we imagine the brain as one giant computer that somehow we have to figure out how it works, you know, this is the most complex thing that we know of in the known universe. You might imagine if you were presented with a computer, how do you figure out how this device works? Well, we are electrophysiologists. So what that means is we are studying the electrical signals in those circuits. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to open up the box and look at how the different elements of the computer are actually connected. That's the job of anatomists, so we do that too. So we're taking knowledge of how nerve cells generate electrical activity, how they're connected with each other to understand how they should support voluntary movement. The particular parts of the brain that we study, the so-called basal ganglia, are the sort of dark basements of the brain. So they're right at the bottom and they're shrouded in mystery. But we know these circuits are incredibly important for movement because when they don't work properly, you have diseases such as Parkinson's disease, Huntington's, and other psychiatric disorders, for example. Um, so the real relevance is we take investigations, discoveries made in perhaps the normal brain, we then try and model dysfunction, and we compare and contrast, and try to identify new avenues in which we can uh, uh, modify or otherwise change the disease process for therapeutic benefit.